Good evening, everybody. This is Out of the Fog. I'm your boy, DC, and you see by the sash below, you can get me at Twitter, Instagram, it all works. I come here to hang out with these amazing volunteers and staffers to produce some content, and that means guests who I love talking about things that matter. Tonight is Shave for the Brave, Shave Week, coming through, Young Adult Cancer Canada, incredible organization, Jeff Eaton, we got our girl Nikki, Mark, our 2022 ambassadors. We can't wait to dig in, talk about the good work the organization does. It's a takeover, baby. And we'll be right back after this break. You're watching Rogers TV St. John's. Yeah, a little bit of duct tape will fix her. She'll be flying again in no time. Hi, I'm Darren Han, host of Pocket Universe. Each week we feature a variety of artists, filmmakers, writers, and more. I see a monument or landmark, I want to <laughs> capture that. It allows you to make circular motions. I'm always impressed with the amount of talent that's here on the rock. Join me for Pocket Universe on Rogers TV. You're watching Rogers TV, St. John's. Welcome back, everybody. This is Out of the Fog. And like I done told you in the open, it's all about Young Adult Cancer Canada. It's a takeover. And where would I be without my co-host to the left, the one and only Jeff Eaton? How are you, bud? Wicked, dude. Great to see you. It's great for you to be back. Love it. Love it more. I'll wrestle you for it. Arm wrestle? Let's do it. Ah, you're, you're, you're ready lefty. to do it, you? I, I saw the lefty. Uh, I know. Down. I'll take I know. Down. I got that man strength, you know? I believe it. I wish. Uh, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that Young Adult Cancer Canada gets another chance to shine here on this show. This year's Shave for the Brave campaign is coming through. It's going to be Shave Week. Tell us everything. Yeah, we're pumped about it. Um, you know, a lot of changes in the community and in life right mm -hmm. now. Uh, and we certainly had a wild ride in the last <laughs> year, two years. Um, finding the opportunities in the challenge, There's, uh, they're always there. Uh, sometimes you got to look harder than others, but sure. um, doing the same for the shave this year and, and so pumped to have Mark and Nikki and Sam uh, on with the ambassador uh, uh, campaign yeah, this year. Yeah. And then um, uh, pumped about some cool office shave stuff, the solos continuing to rock it, uh, schools. School's right. starting to sign up. I don't know. We're going to get the assemblies on the go this year. We'll yeah. see. We're, yeah, we're, we're excited still in at between. the prospect. Yeah. We're excited at the prospect. Indeed. In other parts of the country, they're taking that on, so that's exciting. Um, uh, yeah, so we're, we're pumped about it and uh, really looking forward to rolling out and raising the awareness of all the cool stuff that happens around Shave during Shave Week. For sure. And Shave Week is, as you say, a mix. They're happening solo in, in you know, the houses of folks. They're happening in the middle of the office bullpen. They're happening in the school gym. They're happening in the rink. They're happening all over. And not just in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, my friends. We're talking cross-country. And yet, Young Adult Cancer Canada started right here. How proud are you of how embraced the organization is becoming and has continued to become across the country? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're strongest where we're based, um, like a lot of organizations or, sure. or companies. Um, we have been really fortunate to have people step up and have our back from the very first steps we took almost 22 years ago when we got going. Um, and the team and the support crew continues to grow every year and we're grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, early in our life we did a look across the country for other young adult cancer serving organizations and couldn't find any. Um, so that became our vision really by default then was we knew there was a real need across our province and across the country so we said we got to go take it on mm -hmm. and and that's what we continue to do um, you know from our headquarters the center of the universe right. St. John's Newfoundland <laughs> and Labrador baby <laughs> and Jeff I will say necessity is the mother of invention and to remind folks viewing it at home who may be meeting you for the first time authentically you are uh, into this role and into this life-changing vocation based on being a young adult cancer survivor two times over. So, you know, you weren't hired to do this. You woke up in the job. And to see that there was no places to turn for peer-to-peer -peer connection during that time, um, you know, 22 years ago, or roughly, um, was that surprising to you then? You know, I, I, was, I was diagnosed six months out of university 
Um, and, uh, I, you know, I was young and invincible and didn't know what was coming at the time and just trying to figure my way forward through this mad uh, challenge experience of being a young adult dealing with cancer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I started an email group. Uh, it would be called the blog today, kids. <laughs> but uh, back then it was an email group. And, and that really became my de facto support mechanism right. in addition to my communication channel. Um, uh, and, th and that was in the absence of anywhere else to turn. Um, and then, uh, you know, coming out of that, uh, I did, uh, you know, I, I considered another path to going back to the old one that I loved, but um, I felt like I had to take a shot at this. And, um, and I never thought, man, I never thought I had the same job for 22 years, but wow, hey. here I am. And uh, it's easy for me to go to work. Um, uh, certainly not every day is easy, mm. but it's easy for me to go to work still. I love what I do. And I'm mm. really grateful to be able to do it. It's funny you mentioned, you know, these terms, job and work. It's so beyond. I can only imagine. It's, it's not even a, a choice or, I mean, I can't imagine how deeply ingrained this mission is to you to help young adults find that peer-to-peer -peer connection in the million ways that they're going to need it. And it continues to evolve, yeah. you know, and you have a great team around you. Take a moment. Angie, Kristen, Kareem, Danny. T tell me, everyone. There's so many folks making this happen. Sherry, uh, yeah, Sherry. Like some recent. Don is Queen. like Don is still around, but not uh, still. There's yeah, we got a great group. Gabrielle's on that leave. Like we have a great group, and we we're fortunate to have had a great people come through um, over the years. Of course. Um, you know, I get a lot of the credit for Yak. I will say that a disproportionate amount. I will say that. <laughs> I'll take a lot of the credit for the first spark. Um, but man, giant, huge team effort ever since. And that's the only thing that makes anything success, meaningful go, I think. Anything huge in your life that you're going to accomplish is almost definitely going to involve a team. Um, Yak is certainly a beautiful example of that. And um, it is definitely uh, rewarding and powerful to be uh, helping people who are where I was once. And, uh, and there's power in that, but, but I got to say, like the, the expertise that we have uh, in, in the office and in the team, uh, as well as the, we're tapping into the wisdom of the community, my man. Like uh, the survivors are helping survivors, and that's what the the cool part about this is. We deliver a lot of cool, great programs, but the the most important thing we do, man, is is we continue to grow and nurture this community of young adults dealing with cancer of 5,000 plus across the country. How proud are you of these uh, amazing humans in your life? Yeah, I mean, they're great, amazing people, uh, and they have made, you know, a profound and, and different, obviously, impact on Yak and The Shave, um, as have many, many people. We're so cool to see. Like, we're mm -hmm. so many years into The Shave, over 16,000 heads shaved, <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people have given their money, uh, volunteers, hundreds and hundreds of volunteers. Like, it's just... It's, we wouldn't be here without this huge, overwhelming support of community. And Mark and Nikki and Sam coming up later on uh, next week, I think they get to be part of that. And, and they're kind of the representation this year of that gift and that giving and that impact on the lives of the Yackers. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, guys, we'll be right back after this break. We're going to hang out with Mark. Then we're going to hang out with Nikki. And then me and Jeff are going to shut this down. It is the Young Adult Cancer Canada. Shave for the Brave, Shave Week Takeover, hashtag Shave Week, right back after this break. It all started when I racked up some serious debt. Interest payments were going up, creditors were calling, Janes and Noseworthy came up with a plan. Knowing that the phone was going to stop ringing and that I was not in this alone was a huge relief. Bankruptcy or a consumer proposal or whatever help you get is not the end. It's just the beginning, a chance to start again with knowledge and support and people in your corner. Are you ready? Get out of debt. It's okay. Learn more about Leah's story at janesnosothy.ca. As the fighting continues in Ukraine, thousands of people are fleeing for their lives, forced to leave everything behind. You can help them. Your donation to the Humanitarian Coalition will provide food, water, shelter, and medical care to the people of Ukraine who urgently need it. Call 1-855-461-2154 or donate online today at together.ca. That's together.ca. The Humanitarian Coalition. Together, saving more lives. Welcome back, everybody. This is Out of the Fog. And as you've been learning so far, Young Adult Cancer Canada's Shave Week is coming through. Of course, we shave all year round, and it's through shaves that we met our next hang here now on the show. Mark, how are you? 
Good, how are you doing? Doing great, thank you so much yeah. for coming by. No, thanks, thanks for having me, uh, nice to see you again. Yes, of course, likewise. You know, it seems like yesterday that we were down at the convention center watching you get the most powerful haircut of your life. Tell us all about it. Oh, that's uh, <clears throat> just over six months ago. Wild. So, uh, yeah, that, um, th that was uh, a pretty big day for, for, for me personally, but yeah. certainly for our, for our industry, the offshore sure. energy industry. Uh, I guess you know, I'll go back to when, it, when the idea first sort of sprung was, uh, it was September 15th, 2020. Uh, seems so long ago now, it but uh, <clears throat> that was the day of the, uh, the energy rally up by Confederation Building where right. so many people in the community and in the, in in the industry came out to show their support. And uh, Jeff came out from Young Adult Cancer and, and got up and, and uh, spoke very passionately about how important the energy industry has been for Young Adult Cancer Canada and for its mission and, and its ability to deliver on this mandate uh, across the country. And I uh, walked away that day thinking, wow, that showed a lot of courage to, to get up and uh, really put yourself out there mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and be vulnerable and, mm -hmm. and, and talk about something that was so important to him and, and to, to Yak. And I just thought, we got to find a way to, to say thank you. And I guess that sort of hatched an idea in my, in my head about what we might be able to do to, uh, to say thank you. And um, I, I've known uh, Jeff a number of years and um, <clears throat> there's one thing I, you can, uh, that I, I, I guarantee anyone that knows him knows he's got a, a, a very deep, long memory. And I had once said to him, uh, the company that I work with at Crosby, it's almost a rite of passage to shave your head uh, for Yak. And I had said to him one day, I'll, I'll do it one day. And he said, and I'll remember. <laughs> and so I thought, all right, maybe this is uh, now, now, now it's time to, to, to own up for that. Yeah. And um, so I, I went and spoke with, um, with Charlene Johnson. I right. had, at that time, I had been on the, on the board okay. on, uh, at NOIA, right. and now it's Energy NL, of course. Indeed. And um, I just sort of pitched this idea, and I, I said, I, I would like to do a shave, and, and I, I will go out to raise the money with all of the companies that participate in the, in the offshore. Uh, as a way of saying thank you, and yeah, it, we uh, it, it it just started talking to the operators and Exxon Mobil and Suncor and Sonovas and Equinor and on and on it goes. And then I started talking to the service companies, and everyone was just yeah, this is the right thing to do. So it took off. A well-respected human in the industry as you are, oh. were you overwhelmed with the automatic yes, yes, yes that you started to receive? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I think I said to you that day of the shave, uh, overwhelmed but not surprised. Mm. It, the, this industry, uh, one of the things that I love about working in, in this industry is how community minded it is. Mm. Um, the, the offshore oil industry, the energy industry, builds communities. Mm. And this was just a stellar example of the industry doing what it's always done. It's just not an industry that goes out there waving the flag and saying, look what we've done. It just does it very behind the scenes and quietly and it, it just it does the right thing and, yeah. and this was a really powerful way of, of demonstrating it in a much more visible way. Wow. Yeah. Jeff, um, you know, your day on the hill, Mark reaches out after, he says he's going to do the thing. How did you feel about that knowing how um, much loved he is in the industry and what that could mean for all the young adults who would benefit from those monies raised? Yeah, like um, as Mark Mark touched, like that there that day, um, it was a, it was a beautiful opportunity to, for Yak to just say thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, I still remember my little list. Like I had a list of many names that that I had just mentioned off the top of my head of people who had supported Yak in the previous many years, five, ten years plus, and right. uh, made a huge impact on us. And and then uh, for Mark to kind of turn that around from what was the rally was a real like. A turning point, to like uh, you know, at that time there was all kinds of mad uncertainty for everybody, right. and Mark turned that into something uh, that was incredibly powerful. And you know, in, in Yak's life, 22 years almost now, mm -hmm. the single biggest day of fundraising we've ever had. Uh, so you know, in the midst of COVID and all the uncertainty and the mad challenges, to have our single biggest day of, of fundraising ever is is a, a beautiful example that there's always opportunity in the crisis, and uh, like we're grateful that this guy decided that he wanted to take it on and engaged his whole industry to make it come to life. Talk about the importance of the young adult population to your industry. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, certainly, uh, as the industry is evolving, we're going through an energy transition 
bringing young people into the industry to be part of that mm -hmm. uh, is, is critically important. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, we are, the, the, that generation is our future, whatever industry you're working in. So, exactly. Uh, but, you know, just uh, the, the, the mission that, that, that YAC has to, to uh, help young people that are going through what is, whatever age you're at, it's one of the most if not the most challenging thing you're gonna go through in your life. And then to do that as a young adult with all the other challenges that come with it, it's hard being a young adult, you know, starting your career, uh, going through all those changes just, just to, to get established and then to have that thrown in the middle of it. So uh, that's not lost on anyone that supports YAC and it's certainly not lost on the energy industry. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm answering your question, but it just, uh, it, it's a, uh, uh, I'm so proud of the industry and, and its response and, and it's reverberating. I mean, to this day, just yesterday I got an email and someone just said, yeah, I meant to come talk to you. We were at the Energy NL rebrand yesterday, the Noya rebrand, and I meant to come over to talk to you about the shave. It, 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 people still talk about it. So. That's so great. Yeah, and that was from a young adult. So, Which is even more rewarding. Yeah. Um, we're in our final moment of the hang here. Yeah. What's next? Uh, well, uh, certainly, you know, that, that whole experience is the most, uh, one of the most personally rewarding things I've ever done in my life. And I think that it's still resonating and there's still some energy out there for it. So um, before Christmas, I started to sort of, I'll say, tap a few heads and talk to a few people. And uh, we're, we're going to do this again. I uh, hmm. don't know uh, what it's going to be called, but it's going to be in, uh, in September. And there are uh, several very um, 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 prominent people in the industry who have, ha I've asked, would you, would you do it? And we've just confirmed over the last week they're all in. So <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to do it again. Guys, this is the Young Adult Cancer Canada Takeover Show, Shave Week coming through. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Mark. Right back after this break. Welcome back everybody, this is Out of the Fog and we just hung out with Mark, one of our 2022 Shave Ambassadors. And what do I got to my left? A queen bee mm -hmm. coming in, mm -hmm. another of our three amazing 2022 Shave Ambassadors. Nikki, how are you doing? Doing great. You're Thanks looking great. Me. Okay. And this guy, <laughs> right? He's all right. Yeah. Queen bee rocking uh, the newly acquired oh, Shave yeah. for the Brave, yeah. Brave Toque. Toque. Oh, wow. Not to be confused with <laughs> the Shave Toque. Uh, the Shave Toque requires a level of significance, right? That's what it's all about. You can't buy those babies in That's stores. Right. It's true. You got to get the shave or cut your hair. The Brave Tokes are a different kind of sacrifice. It's like a level up. Yeah, it's, oh, wow. uh, I don't know about level up. I don't like the level over. The but, level in, yeah, but, the level, right. the level right. through. They don't, right. We don't line up for the Brave that Tokes. <laughs> that's right, that's right. The Brave Toke just comes <laughs> once you hit that milestone okay. above. Well, Can't wear it with know. pride. Oh, you know. 100%. Because there's a lot of people um, loving you, proud of you, and there's a story to tell. So our ambassadors all have different connections to the organization. I would like you to ask you, what brought you to Young Adult Cancer Canada? How did you first get introduced? Who did it? Tell me everything. So I was first introduced, um, well, I got my membership, shall we say, <laughs> right. uh, because I was diagnosed myself with uh, breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and I originally heard from Ipapat with uh, a family friend had mentioned it to my parents about, you know, did I have a support system? And, you know, Yak was there and they could help me through a lot of the things that I would be going through. Right. Um, so, you know, they asked me to reach out and I connected and it really helped with <laughs> many things that we all face as young adults going through cancer and our journey and everything that comes with that. So uh, that's how originally I got connected and here we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're, you know, life before cancer is like normal, invincible young adulthood. And then I think for, I know for Nikki and I, when you're diagnosed with cancer as a young adult, mm -hmm. almost universally, uh, you're the first one of your friends to get it. I mean, there's okay. exceptions, but almost universally that's what happens. So Absolutely. even when you're supported and loved like Nikki and I both were, 
um, you're supported by people who don't really understand what mm. you're going through. And there's just there's some pure power in being able to connect with other people who know what you're at and know what you're going through and, and even have wisdom to help you figure out your way forward. And that's wow. really what YAC is obviously all about, of it's about that connection. Yeah. Um, now you speak on Jeff's point, you know, you got your diagnosis, everyone around you is, of course, that you're confiding in and discussing this with, um, they're there for you. But, you know, to Jeff's point, did you feel like they could relate? Did you find yourself looking around for people who you could actually have a, a different, deeper sort of connection to based on the diagnosis? Yeah, absolutely. Like, mm. I will say that I have the best <laughs> family, friend, support system that anyone could ever ask for. Um, you know, I went through, <laughs> you know, a, a lot happened. A lot of tough stuff. And uh, my, mm. they were there you couldn't have asked for anyone better by your side, but back to Jeff's point is it's very true that, you know, um, they don't fully understand the cancer journey and everything that comes along with it. And there's a point where you actually don't want them to have to understand that mm. because it's a lot. Mm. And as much as they're there for, to support you on an emotional level and, it, you know, there for you in anything that you need. There is a level that y you they don't understand, and we don't want them to understand mm. because we don't want to put that on them either. So you can have all the support in, in the world from your family and friends, which I did. Um, but the yak is a different type of support, a mm. different type of support that we all need. Mm. The peer-to-peer -peer experience is very unique to the organization and it's something that so many young adults um, who are members of the amazing National Yak community can all attest to. Um, do you feel like having that peer-to-peer -peer connection and community virtual and in-person um, has really helped you to work through a lot of you know, the goings on of what you've been through in the last while. A hundred percent. Like there were so many nights that, uh, you know, I had a lot of difficulty sleeping and I had a lot of time on my hand. <laughs> so, um, you know, one of our Facebook groups, you can go in and read different people's stories and what they've been through and mm -hmm. how they handled it and how they coped and, mm -hmm. you know, read other yaks support. Mm -hmm. And it makes, a huge difference. You can reach out to that anyone um, at any point in time. Jeff, his team. It's it's crazy how much support that they are there for, and at different levels. Like the amount of support that I need, and the amount of support that another yakker might need, mm -hmm. are two different levels of support. Mm -hmm. But they're still there mm -hmm. no matter what we need. We're the all you can eat buffet yeah. of cancer survivor support, right? So you can come for a little. Uh, or a lot, mm -hmm. um, uh, lots of yakkers uh, are in deep and then they fade away mm -hmm. and they come back and, and you know, Donnie, every cancer, every stage, yak's got your back. And mm -hmm. that's our mantra that we bring to our work every day. Um, and, and one of the real true manifestations of that is, is you know, survivors coming in and using the programs as needed, when needed. Mm -hmm. and, and they know that once they're in, uh, in our eyes, they're never out. And we have, you know, just tons and tons of stories of yakkers who go through phases and they ebb and flow. And um, oftentimes, if they hit a tough spot, um, they uh, yak is one of the first places they come because the sure. connection that Nikki's talking about makes a, a huge difference in their life. And that's what sure. yak is all about. And, and that's what the shave supports. Partnership and support. Um, from you know the networks around us as young adults who may be going through this time, and then corporate partners as well had helped make the Shave Campaign for annual awareness about this amazing initiative possible. You know, looking out at the TV land, what would you have to say to different um, companies and individuals uh, who have and continue to support this incredible organization? Just thank you and continue to do it like. As much as, you know, there's always going to be someone who needs yak. There's always going to be a young adult that's impacted by cancer. Whether you know them, I know them, <laughs> Jeff knows them, there's always someone who needs them. Um, you know, and whether that's today, tomorrow, two weeks from now, um, we need them.
and I think it's important to support them. Um, as one of the ambassadors for this year's Shave Week campaign, um, seeing you in all the social medias and all the communications tools, and you're a big source of hope to so many. For anyone who is dealing with a young adult cancer diagnosis watching tonight, who may um, be scared to, uh, about having the courage to reach out, what's your advice in our closing moment? I would say do it, <laughs> and you won't regret doing it mm -hmm. because as much as you don't know you need that support, you do. Mm. And they're here for you in whatever capacity that needs to be. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best and I'll be seeing you soon. Definitely. <laughs> Guys, this is Out of the Fog. It is Young Adult Cancer Canada Shave Week Takeover. We'll be right back with Jeff to wrap up after this break. Everybody tuning in at home, thank you so much for spending time with us learning about this incredible organization. Jeff, thanks for hanging out with us all episode, my brother. Love to be here with you, dude. What's the URL for everyone at home to hit in order to get involved in this year's campaign? Shaveforthebrave.ca. Go sign up. Get the most powerful haircut of your life. Boom. Love it. Guys, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. Shaveforthebrave.ca. Hit it up. Donate. Host a shave. Maybe of your own head like myself two and a half times do it mohawk is a look do it. do it i'll tell you thank you guys so much we'll see you next time if you have a comment about this